Imagine a gigantic cosmic structure is right in front of our eyes and we've just never seen it. Something strange has been found near Andromeda, and astronomers are stunned that they have overlooked this huge object all these years. But what is it, and how can the sudden appearance of a structure the size of an entire galaxy be explained? The Andromeda galaxy is our direct galactic neighbor, and the newly discovered structure may have something to do with a mysterious connection between our Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy. The strange phenomenon is right on our galactic doorstep, and despite its enormous size, the world's best astronomers have not noticed it for over 100 years. Even now, it was not professional astronomers who saw the phenomenon known as SDS01 with their own eyes for the first time. Three amateur astronomers made this sensational discovery with a simple backyard telescope, and the experts have been puzzled by the spectacular find ever since. What is it? And are there possibly more gigantic structures that we have not yet seen? So many questions about the universe remain unanswered. We cannot answer how the universe came into being. We do not know its purpose, and we do not even know why the stars in our galaxy move the way they do. The reason for this is a lack of knowledge about fundamental processes. We may not yet be aware of some forces, or we may simply have overlooked important objects and clues, like SDSO1. Amateur astronomers Marcel Drexler, Javier Stratner, and Jan Sainty used a simple average telescope to observe the Andromeda galaxy and take some photos of it. The Andromeda galaxy is the closest and largest neighbor of the Milky Way. This beautiful spiral galaxy contains around one trillion stars, which is about twice as many stars as in the Milky Way. The Andromeda galaxy is particularly impressive because of its clear spiral structure and its size. Besides the Magellanic Clouds, Andromeda is our nearest neighbor, and in many hundreds of millions or even billions of years, our Milky Way and Andromeda will probably merge into a single galaxy. It looked like a shadow. It sounds crazy. The three amateur astronomers actually thought their telescope had a serious problem. A shadow had cast itself over the view of the neighboring galaxy, and it was disturbing the image. The three astronomers tinkered with the settings and feverishly searched for the problem. But the shadow kept reappearing. Finally, the three of them came up with the idea that the strange shadow was not a problem at all, but a cosmic phenomenon. The three searched all available sources, books, and the internet for clues as to what this cloud above the galaxy could be. But they found nothing. No astronomical database, no scientific journal, or even the NASA database had any information about this discovery. So the three reported their discovery to the American Astronomical Society and asked what it could be. The astronomers were astonished. No one had ever noticed the structure before. Professional astronomers and galaxy researchers could only confirm the rare discovery, and shortly afterwards, the discovery was made public as part of a brand new scientific paper. The object SDS01 is a huge structure, almost as big as the entire Andromeda galaxy. The reason why it was not visible before was probably due to its composition of certain gases. These were simply invisible in the vastness of space. The three amateur astronomers have overlaid their view of our neighboring galaxy with a special filter that favors the blue-green light spectrum. This highlighted the glow of doubly ionized oxygen, which is precisely the gas that makes up the cloud. The special filter conjured into visibility what was previously invisible and gave three simple, young amateur astronomers the discovery of a century. The cloud, therefore, consists mainly of doubly ionized oxygen. Now the question arises as to what is special about these oxygen ions and the cloud, or rather, what is this cloud and what is its purpose in the universe? The cloud has a diameter that is about as wide as the entire Andromeda galaxy, which is 220,000 light years. It's therefore a huge object that looks like a shadow or vapor of the galaxy. The Andromeda galaxy is one of the best studied galaxies in the universe. Scientists thought they knew everything about the galaxy, and now they are faced with a puzzle. On the one hand, the discovery is exciting, but on the other, it also raises doubts about how much we actually know about the universe. Could there be more important structures hiding in plain sight? And is that why we understand so little about the true processes in the universe? The cloud has been examined several times, underlaid with other filters and scan. Five of the best telescopes on Earth were able to clearly prove the existence of the cloud in this way. They attempted to capture the object using multi-wavelength X-ray imaging. 
However, these attempts yielded hardly any usable results. SDSO1 is only visible if the exact filter that the amateur astronomers Strautner, Drexler, and Sainte happen to use is applied. A first sign of contact between Andromeda and the Milky Way? Is it true that SDSO1 is a secret connection between Andromeda and the Milky Way? This explanation sounds intriguing and mysterious, and it might have a background that can send a shiver down your spine. The structure appears in images like a delicate disk or cloud. In reality, however, it is gently curved like an archway. Closer examination also reveals that the cloud is curving away from the Andromeda galaxy. The gas was initially interpreted as a kind of emission from the galaxy, but so far there is no evidence to support this theory. It has also not been possible to prove that SDSO1 and the Andromeda galaxy are firmly connected. If this were the case, the cloud would be one of the largest structures in the galaxy, and researchers suspect that it has a role or background that could significantly improve our understanding of galaxies. It was obvious that the cloud is an exhalation of the outer stars at the edge of the galaxy. Astronomers call this spherical outer structure a halo. We know that an enormous amount of hydrogen is emitted by the stellar streams in the halo of the Andromeda galaxy. However, no hydrogen has ever been detected within SDSO1. The latest explanation goes one step further. New measurements have shown that the structure may not actually belong to the Andromeda galaxy, but to our own, the Milky Way. But even then, it would have to be a relic of the vaporization of the outer stellar halo. However, our galaxy also emits predominantly hydrogen, and this is missing in the cloud. Now things are getting really exciting because the archway may be a kind of first contact between Andromeda and the Milky Way. Both galaxies are inexorably approaching each other, and the outer halos of both galaxies could have already made contact. The cloud would then be the first sign of the two halos merging. Diffused gas from both halos would compress in a collision and could then actually form a curved structure reminiscent of an archway. Our home galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy have been moving towards each other for a long time. They will meet and they will merge, as computer simulations have already shown several times. Why the two are racing towards each other in such a straight line is still unknown. It almost seems as if these two are magically attracted to each other, and as if they were destined to merge in the cosmic dance of the galaxies. We have already observed other breathtaking galaxy weddings in space. However, two galaxies that meet in the vastness of the cosmos do not always merge. Sometimes galaxies just seem to greet each other and then pass each other by. Others scrape each other, injure each other, and then each goes its own way, while still others merge. Galaxies are perhaps no different from us humans in their choice of partners. Which forces control these galaxy encounters is still a mystery. Perhaps it's fate, as with us humans, or perhaps it is pure coincidence. So far, the incipient fusion process of Andromeda and the Milky Way is one of the best explanations for the existence of SDSO1. However, some critics argue that the cloud is almost too close to the Andromeda galaxy to really be a first sign of contact. In this case, we would actually expect such a field to be much closer to the center of both galaxies. What else could SDSO1 be? What do you spontaneously think of when you see the images of this cloud? A UFO? A shadow? Or simply an image disturbance? Researchers have put forward a whole range of theories as to what SDSO1 could be. As we continue to ponder what this object could be, we must first understand what doubly ionized oxygen is and what role it plays in the cosmos. Doubly ionized oxygen occurs when oxygen atoms lose two of their electrons, which typically happens under extremely energetic conditions. Cosmic events that generate such enormous amounts of energy are star-forming regions or active galactic nuclei. These high-energy environments provide enough energy to separate the electrons from the oxygen nuclei, resulting in exactly the emission of blue-green light that was highlighted by the three discoverers of the structure with a special filter. Given the unusual nature and isolated position of SDSO1, we must assume that it is a previously unknown astrophysical phenomenon. Perhaps SDSO1 really is a harbinger of the powerful forces generated by a galaxy merger. 
Or perhaps the structure is something else entirely, like a gigantic window into another dimension. A cosmic portal created by a strange concentration of gravitational and magnetic anomalies. This portal could be a kind of cosmic shortcut through the vastness of the universe. And if we were science fiction writers now, such a place would naturally be the transit point for interdimensional travel and a hub for the multiverse. Another possibility could be that SDSO1 is the remnants of an incredibly large supernova-like explosion that occurred in a previously unknown extreme form, releasing doubly ionized oxygen in incredible quantities. Perhaps this explosion was so powerful that it created a bubble in the space-time continuum, which we now perceive in the form of SDSO1. It could also be that SDSO1 is an artificial object, a relic of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization that has developed technologies far beyond our understanding. This hypothesis leads us to the idea that SDSO1 may be a cosmic marker of sorts, serving to guide the way through the otherwise chaotic and confusing intergalactic medium. Finally, SDSO1 could also serve as a kind of cosmic lighthouse erected by a long-dead civilization to guide the way through the dark and stormy seas of space. Perhaps it serves to navigate their descendants or travelers from other worlds safely through the dangers of interstellar space. Despite the efforts of scientists, the true nature of SDSO-1 remains a mystery. Who knows what secrets SDSO-1 might one day reveal? Press the subscribe button now and be part of every new video.